Okay, it's time to talk about life and why you have it. And there's one foundational stone or keystone or keystone in the arts that really makes a difference, and that's ATP. Without it, nothing works. And it's made in the mitochondria, so it's really a matter of you are what you eat, and the quality of the food depends on the quality of your life. So we're going to talk about mitochondria because ETP is made in these very interesting organelles in the uh, cellular matrix. And uh, they chop up lipids into acetyl-CoA, which is a fancy word for some carbon and hydrogen groups linked together that can be fed into the citric acid cycle. And it makes ATP. The problem comes in the kind of fats you eat. There's saturated fatty acids, there's monounsaturated fatty acids, polyunsaturated fatty acids, trans fatty acids. Trans fatty acids are terrible because the way they're linked and the way they've flipped around, transmitting on opposite sides of the carbon chain, they're very hard to, uh, to degrade. As you can see in this picture, their structure is completely screwed up and it causes reaction oxygen species and all kinds of mitochondrial damage leading to apoptosis, which is cell death. So you don't want those. Monos <coughs> polyunsaturated fatty acids. These are bad because they affect the construction of lipids. Saturated fatty acids are great. Nice little straight tails and you have this lipid layer that's nice and tight and organized. The problem comes when you start producing mitochondria inner and outer matrix membranes with these mono and poly forms which are broke or twisted and broken and have odd shapes and it can cause what's called proton leakage because protons are pumped into the inner matrix to cause a surplus of protons in there because protons are used to uh, operate the machinery that turns a little wheel, as you can see in this video, that operates by protons going from one side of the matrix into the other side of the matrix, and as the wheel turns, ADP is turned to ATP. So what kind of fatty acids do you want? Not seed oils. <laughs> They're the worst. There's also the aspect of how much energy can produce be produced by a particular fatty acid. This is why I like stearic acid from meat. You know, long chain fatty acids. They have plenty of things to chump up and make ATP out of. Shorter chains, not as much energy. The problem with keeping yourself healthy, keeping yourself alive, is completely dependent on what you eat. So let's say you've done your dry fast, You've caused a process called mitochondria biogenesis. So you've got new mitochondria, and new mitochondria can run all over the inside of the cell. A good example is this video here, which shows a virus-infected cell, which has high acetylation on the microtubules, and the mitochondria can't even move around, compared to a healthy cell, like in this video, where they're zipping all over the place. And they need to because they go to different parts of the, the cell to produce the ATP to provide the energy for the different intercellular processes. So you need to be able to do this. Of course, the Polyphenol Plus is great for that because it's a combination of resveratrol and specific polyphenols that reduce reaction, <coughs> reaction oxygen species in the cells during mitochondria's work to make ATP. And if you're using the right meats and the right fats, then you're going to have happy mitochondria. So when you've done your dry fast, <laughs> why would you eat anything that would screw up your brand new mitochondria? You know, I talk about this in Neogenesis. There are certain foods that are really, really hard on people. Most of them are found in the body bag foods, the chips, and stuff like that. And oh dear, what do we have here? It looks like we have a little sea turtle. Wow. Cool. Oh, you got to see this. 
This is a little baby sea turtle. And there he is, trying to get out to the beach. This is wonderful. Wow, that's, that's, that's fabulous. Sorry, had to interrupt this. Anyway, I'm going to go help the sea turtles get out to, out to sea, and I will see you later. Take care.